Have you ever held a shiny rock in your hand and wondered what made it special enough to be sold in fancy jewelry stores? At first glance, a gem might seem like just another stone, albeit a sparkly one. But the journey from a dull mineral to a coveted gemstone is nothing short of fascinating. Today, we're diving into the world of gems and answering an intriguing question. When is a rock considered a gem? Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. To understand what makes a rock a gem, we need to get a bit scientific. Rocks and minerals are natural substances formed in the earth over millions of years. A rock is essentially a mixture of different minerals, while a mineral is a naturally occurring crystalline substance with a specific chemical composition. A gemstone is a type of mineral, or sometimes a rock, that possesses unique characteristics making it desirable. These traits usually include beauty, rarity, durability, and in some cases, cultural or historical significance. So not every shiny rock you find is a gemstone. It takes a rare combination of geological processes and human appreciation to elevate a rock to gem status. Let's start with beauty, which is arguably the most important factor. For a rock to be considered a gem, it needs to be visually appealing. This appeal usually comes from the way it interacts with light. Think about the brilliance of a diamond or the deep, mesmerizing blue of a sapphire. These qualities come from a gem's color, clarity, cut, and luster. Color plays a huge role. A rich, vibrant hue can make a stone stand out, like the intense green of an emerald or the fiery red of a ruby. But clarity matters too. Gemstones with fewer inclusions, those tiny imperfections trapped within, are often considered more desirable. Combine that with expert cutting, which enhances how the gem reflects and refracts light, and you've got a recipe for something truly captivating. Interestingly, beauty isn't just about perfection. Some gemstones, like opals, are celebrated for their unique imperfections, such as the play of color effect that creates a rainbow-like shimmer. Others, like turquoise, are prized for their natural veining or matrix patterns. Beauty in the gem world is as much about uniqueness as it is about flawlessness. Rarity is another essential factor that distinguishes a gemstone from a regular rock. Diamonds, for example, might seem common because they're widely marketed, but high-quality, naturally occurring diamonds are relatively rare. Gems like alexandrite, which changes color under different lighting, or tanzanite, found in only one region of Tanzania, are prized for their scarcity. This rarity creates an emotional and financial value. People are drawn to the idea of owning something unique something not easily replicated. That's why synthetic gems, though they look almost identical to natural ones, don't hold the same allure. They lack the story of being forged deep within the earth under intense heat and pressure over millennia. Durability is also key. A gemstone must withstand the test of time, not just physically but culturally too. This is where the Ma's scale of hardness comes into play. The scale ranks minerals from 1 to 10, with diamonds sitting at the top with a perfect score of 10. A gem's hardness determines how well it resists scratches, while toughness measures its ability to withstand impacts. For example, while pearls are undeniably beautiful and rare, they aren't considered particularly durable since they can be easily scratched or damaged by acids. On the other hand, sapphires and rubies, both forms of the mineral corundum, score a 9 on the Mohs scale, making them excellent choices for everyday wear. But durability isn't just about hardness, stability matters too. Certain gems, like opals, are sensitive to temperature changes and can crack if exposed to extreme conditions. The best gemstones are those that balance beauty, rarity, and the ability to endure through generations. Not all gemstones are valuable purely because of their physical traits. Sometimes, their worth is tied to human culture, 
history, and mythology. Take jade, for instance. While it's not as hard or brilliant as a diamond, jade has been revered in Chinese culture for thousands of years as a symbol of purity and harmony. Similarly, the Hope Diamond isn't just a beautiful blue diamond. It carries a rich history of ownership, mystery, and even superstition. Its lore makes it far more valuable than just its weight in carats. Gems also serve as symbols in modern culture. Birthstones, for instance, give certain gems personal meaning. Wearing your birthstone, whether it's an aquamarine for March or a ruby for July, connects you to a tradition that spans centuries. So, when does a rock officially become a gem? The answer lies at the intersection of nature and human craftsmanship. Even the most beautiful raw mineral isn't considered a gemstone until it's been cut, polished, and sometimes treated to bring out its best features. The cutting process is an art form in itself. A skilled gem cutter, or lapidary, transforms rough stones into sparkling works of art, carefully calculating each angle to maximize brilliance. A poorly cut diamond, for instance, will appear dull no matter how perfect its clarity and color are. Sometimes, treatments like heat or radiation are used to enhance a stone's natural qualities. While this might sound like cheating, it's a widely accepted practice in the gem world as long as the treatments are disclosed to buyers. Not all stones sold as gems are natural. There's a big difference between natural gems, synthetic gems, and imitations. Natural gems are formed through geological processes, while synthetic gems are grown in a lab but have the same chemical and physical properties. Imitations, on the other hand, merely look like the real thing. Cubic zirconia, for instance, mimics a diamond sparkle but is entirely different in composition. While synthetics and imitations are often more affordable, they lack the geological story and rarity of natural gems. The journey of a rock becoming a gem is long and intricate. It starts deep within the earth, where minerals crystallize under intense pressure and heat. Over time, these minerals are pushed closer to the surface through volcanic activity, tectonic shifts, or erosion. Once discovered, these rough stones are carefully evaluated for their potential as gemstones. Only a small fraction of mined minerals make the cut, pun intended, to become the polished jewels we see in stores. The final transformation happens in the hands of a lapidary. With precision tools and an artistic eye, they unlock the beauty hidden within the stone. It's a process that combines science, art, and craftsmanship, culminating in a finished gemstone that's ready to be admired and cherished. In the end, not every shiny rock is a gem, but every gem begins as just a rock. It's the combination of natural beauty, rarity, durability, and human ingenuity that turns an ordinary stone into something extraordinary. So the next time you see a sparkling gem, take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey it's been on, from the depths of the earth to the palm of your hand. What's your favorite gemstone? Let us know in the comments. And if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them as well. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.